Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. This is a very powerful week, considering we have a new moon and a solar eclipse, so it is going to be a week of major change by the looks of things, letting go of things, new beginnings, karma. So keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, so... What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces for the week of December 14th? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The 14th through the 20th of December. That's a good catch, wasn't it? What do we have for Pisces? These cards are so big. I don't know why they make them so big. King of Coins could be dealing with a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is about stability, security, money, focusing on money. Um, abundance. There's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of money. Somebody is going to be getting some money, maybe getting some sort of payout by the looks of things. This is really focusing on your coin, having plenty, making lots of money. You may be, or you're getting some money, or you're getting a loan, or something like that. Uh, the King of Pentacles is all about financial security. So you are building financial, financial security this week. That's what the focus is by the looks of things. You're focused on your, your coin. You're focused on your money. Um... I feel like this is a very practical, responsible energy, you know, being practical, um, hardworking, devoted, devoted to your, your, um, maybe devoted to your job, devoted to building a foundation, devoted to your business, focusing on a business, focusing on, um, building up some sort of foundation of some sort, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody that is very focused on money. Could go either way. You could be dealing with somebody that is very uh, focused on money by the looks of things. I mean, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is focused on their stability, their financial stability, or their long-term stability. What about your love life? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So it is time to be lighthearted. Maybe you need to be a little less grounded and a little bit more fluid. Typically you are very fluid, aren't you? Because you're a Pisces. But it feels like you're really, really focused on something materialistic. And that's not always a bad thing. But maybe you need to take time to extend your lighthearted energies to others. Um, by the looks of things. Looks like we have a happy camper here. This is somebody that is very happy. Going to be getting, I feel like somebody could be getting some payout or a pay increase or something like that. They're about to, it feels like, reap some sort of rewards. Let's get some of these. Camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. You may be experiencing problems, but you're going to overcome them. Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Nest is a home. So you may be focusing on a home, building up a home, a new home, something like that. Um, definitely on financial security. It is because emotionally secure family and the, and the king of coins is all about family, devotion, devotion to family. Um, I think that you're dealing with some problems, but I don't think that they are going to last. You may be, may be changing your home, uh, changing uh, money may be going into your home, something about that. Um, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So you're really focused on a foundation. You know, and it has to do with your home. Building up a, a strong, secure home. Could be from your for your family. You know? 
Ooh, seven of pentacles fell right out now seven pentacles is about investment wondering if it's worth it wondering if something is worth it i think it is worth it i think it is worth it i think that you have we have crops here so something about crops and reward i think it's it may be time to go someplace else you may be striking up a deal with somebody else or coming up with another plan. This is somebody that's very cunning and clever that does plan for the future. So you're you're definitely setting some plans in motion. I feel like you've come to the end of a season because this is the end of a season. It's 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 time to, you know, harvest what you've got and perhaps plant seeds someplace else. Maybe that's what you're you're planning on doing because the king of coins is a planner. Um, a relocation could be in the cards. Maybe you're planning a relocation or you're planning to extend a business to a different location or something like that. Um, hmm. Wondering if it's worth it. You may be wondering if it's worth it to flirt with somebody. You know, maybe, maybe you're thinking about it. You're not sure if you should. Um, this is somebody that is very practical and responsible and acts with integrity. So I think that you're really contemplating something. You want somebody stable. You want somebody secure. Eight of Wands reverse. Now that is not communicating. Um, not moving forward. Stuck energy. Maybe feeling guilty. Somebody may be feeling guilty. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of moving forward. Really thinking about it. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, almost feels like it's bad news. It's like you may think it's bad news, but it's not bad news. I think you have another opportunity here that you that could that could really bring you some prosperity, but you have to be open to it. You know what I mean? I think you you have to be open to some sort of relocation or something like that. There's relocation here. You may need to relocate. Seven of Wands. Now, this is a tough position. I think that you are in a tough position. We've got a couple of sevens here. Seven, seven. Have faith. Seven is a number from heaven. Have faith. You are being guided. And it feels like you're being guided in a new direction, but you're you're, you're overthinking it. It feels like there's overanalyzing. Seven of Wands, you're in a tough position. You may have a lot of people, you know, that... Uh, are against you or, or or that you have a lot of responsibilities or you're in a stiff you have a lot of stiff competition maybe where you're at you have a lot of stiff competition and it's time to relocate maybe you can relocate to a better place where there's not so much competition this is competition a lot of it okay so there could be a, something that is not moving forward successfully as you would like because of the competition you know uh, but I think you have an opportunity to make money Okay, or so that's what it looks like to me. Um, because the King of Pentacles is somebody who is financially stable, that is a hard worker, that plans things, comes up with plans, and sets goals and follows through. This is somebody who work, 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 work. Let's work some more. You know? So, um, and I think we have a worker here, somebody that works, and they work, 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 work. But anyhow, um, I feel like where you're at, there's no more growth. And that would signify right here. So I think there's no more growth. You may need to stop investing in that or to stop investing so much and plant your seeds someplace else and invest someplace else. Plant a crops per se, you know, metaphorically someplace else, you know, plant your seeds someplace else, you know, <clears throat> But I think you're in a tough position. And it feels like you're fighting it. It feels like you're fighting, you know, opposition. But I feel like the opposition is within yourself. Wherever you're at right now, there's, there's, there's too much competition. And I feel like you have another opportunity. But you may just have to walk away. And I feel like you have a hard time doing that. Anyway, um... I feel like you're dealing with some sort of challenge right now and you're refusing to budge. It's like this is refusing to budge, refusing to um, just go in another direction. You have another direction, but you're fighting it. Three of Wands reverse. Now that's unprepared. Dashed expectations. 
unprepared, unprepared for a departure, un unprepared for a change, focusing on the present, not focusing on the future. What? Do you have a future plan? Focus on the future, not just the present. So this is somebody that is unprepared. They're unprepared for something. It's either unprepared for a departure. Usually the three of wands is an arrival or a departure. But that is that is totally, totally unprepared. Wasted time. Somebody's wasting time not seeing the opportunities. They're not seeing with a, a lack of vision. Somebody's not seeing the opportunities. Very interesting. Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is typically looking for love, needing to go after your heart, follow your heart. Making an advance, flirting. Because we have flirting up there. Somebody needs to, to follow their heart. They may need to open up. Open up their heart. Act on their feelings. Somebody is probably going to be acting on their feelings. They're fighting their feelings. This is fighting their feelings. Wasted time. Somebody has wasted time being uh, competitive with competition there's a lot of competition in a challenge somebody's been in a tough position fighting fighting something that they don't need to fight with what is this knight of cups feels like there's a lover here you know there's a, there could be an arrival Arrival of a lover, somebody expressing their love or something like that. I know I'm changing the story, but the Knight of Cups is all about love. Showing emotions, making a move. Somebody needs to make a move. Page of Pentacles reverse. Now I asked what the Knight of Cups was. Page of Pentacles reverse. No follow through. Somebody not following through. No, no desire to start over. Not, no plan. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. Because somebody doesn't want to. This is lack of integrity. Somebody's is uh, not wanting to start over. It's like they're being guided to go definitely in a new direction, but they don't want to start over. They don't want to put in effort with the Page of Pentacles reverse. This is, there's a blockage. There's a blockage standing in the way. It's standing in the way of you achieving your goal. Okay? Somebody has not planned sufficiently. They're focused on the present, not the future. There's an opportunity for love. And there's an opportunity for security. But you've got to focus on the future. I feel like we have somebody here that has become complacent, right? And they've lost sight of their goal. They have. And there's, there's I mean, there's a need to really, really focus. Somebody may be in some sort of fantasy land. You know, they may not be, re be being realistic. I'm just, I'm just being honest. You need to be realistic. So I feel like this week, there's a need to refocus. There's a need to re-examine. You know, you have a bright future in front of you. Focus on the future. What is your future? What's your future plan? To stay here and have no growth? To stay right where you're at and have no growth because of the competition? Expansion is needed.
I don't know if you're dealing with some gossip this week as well. You could be dealing with some gossip, people, you know, um, causing you problems. You could be dealing with other people causing you problems this week, saying things, you know, talking behind your back. So be prepared for that. There could be some jealousy around you with the Eight of Wands reversed. Somebody's jealous. They're jealous of your abundance. They're jealous of your uh, financial growth, perhaps. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Okay, you do. This is the second Pisces reading that I've done, but I, I'm, I've decided I'm not going to share the first one. So this is my for for this week, but you definitely have a gossip because in these cards we had the parrot, which said gossip. You have a gossip. There is a gossip around, and this is gossip. So there's gossip here, and this is too. So there's there's gossip here. Somebody's going to be talking. They're going to be telling your secrets, and I think you're going to get angry. You may get angry. Something could get made social because this is socializing as well. So somebody something could be made. Uh, public okay that you didn't want to be made public all right I think you have an enemy disguised as a friend so be careful be really careful there's somebody that is jealous of you they, they, they present themselves as a friend but they aren't we have a blockage here twice as well this is blocked and this is blocked so somebody may be blocking their feelings blocking their emotions blocking their own success even so you're going to have to persevere and you will overcome problems. You're going to have to find some sort of ability to overcome an issue this week. Something could come to a stop, okay, with these two cards. It could just come to a halt, okay? No more growth. But there is an opportunity for growth if you can plant your seeds someplace else. Trust me. But you may have to communicate and open up and be willing, be willing to focus on the future and let go of the past. Okay? Um, there's a need for expansion. The Three of Wands is about expansion. We have somebody here who's only thinking about the present. It's like they don't have a contingency plan. Three of Pentacles. Now that is working together. It's teamwork. A need to work as a team. A need to come up with a plan. Seriously. I feel like communication is key. There's a need to make some compromises. You may need to make some compromises this week. You could even get some bad news. Okay, with this Eight of Wands reversed. But there's but there's an opportunity for success. There is. You may feel... Um, uncomfortable with a change but I think it will end successfully well you may not see that it's going to end successfully but it is going to end successfully whoever you are working with is very capable okay they're very capable they have a they have a, a lot of uh, skills okay There's a need to make some compromises. There is. That's what Three of Pentacles is. You need to make some compromises. You make, you're going to have to make some compromises this week. may make you angry. You could get angry with that Seven of Wands. You may have not seen something. You may have not seen something. You know, there's a lack of vision with the Three of Wands reversed. This does have to do with planting seeds and relocating. You're going to you're going to need to have faith. You're going to need to have faith that everything is going to work out. It is going to work out. It is strength. Strength is card of perseverance, mastering your emotions, being patient. You're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to uh, I feel like faith is really big here. Have no fear. You're in a good position. You will be in a good position. But you're going to have to have courage. You're going to have to be brave. Because strength is a card of being 
brave. You're going to have to be brave and probably work with somebody that makes you feel uneasy. You know, it's kind of interesting. There's been some blocked communication too with that Eight of Wands reversed next to that Three of Pentacles. Uh, the Eight of Wands reversed is blocked and the Three of Pentacles is communication. So there's been some blocked communication. You may be thinking about unblocking something because I see all that thinking with the Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? What should I do? I feel like you need to have courage. You need to have courage. You need to be strong. You need to be brave. This is about, there's, there's an opportunity uh, to start a new enterprise. There is. But I feel like there's 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 uh, too many emotions in the way. You need to master your emotions. Oh, the world reversed. Yikes. So the world reverses unfinished business. So I'm not sure if you have some unfinished business. This is definitely staying in the present, not focusing on the future, flogging a dead horse, resisting change. Somebody is resisting change. You know, they're lacking goals, refusing to explore new avenues, not learning from mistakes. There's a lack of success, and I feel like there's a lack of success but because you really need to focus on the future. There's too much resistance here. This is, we have a person here that is refusing to listen to anyone. <clears throat> really, really, really stuck in the present. Having a hard time communicating as well. Somebody needs to express. They need to express their feelings fully. There's unfinished business here, unfortunately. What you resist persists. Perhaps you need to accept that something is over or you need to accept that there's something that needs to be done. There's lack of acceptance here. I refuse to accept. And the world card is about new ground, okay? You may need to put your, like I said, plant your seeds on new ground. We have somebody here that is refusing to explore new avenues when they have a better future right in front of them. So this is a week where, you know, maybe you get practical. Maybe you get a reality check because the King of Pentacles is about practicality and reality. You have a you have a you have a good opportunity for growth. That you you've been missing. You've been missing it with that three of wands, that's lack of foresight, you don't even see it. Because you're you're so focused on something right now, right here in the present. I feel like relocation is is big. I mean the seven of pentacles is relocation, the world card is relocation, the three of wands is relocation. I feel like wherever you're at, there's no growth. And I feel like there's no growth because of the competition. You have some serious competition. Or you've been blocked from something. Maybe you've been blocked from uh, working. You know, maybe it's because of COVID. I don't know. I do see being blocked. But I think you, and the strength card is about perseverance, about, about bravery. Be brave. Be brave. It's time to leave something in the past. 
It is. This is be brave. This is it's some there's something in the past that that you are you know, there's there's something that you're clinging to. You're resisting change. You need to just accept and, and allow and focus on the future. Anyhow, Pisces, I feel like this week you you may have you may have an opportunity to build a foundation someplace else. Maybe you know what it is. And you need to stop wasting your time. You've been wasting your time on something that is not growing. It's not. You can pretend it is all you want. You have an opportunity that you could act, you would love, you would love if you would try something you've never done before. And I feel like it's someplace else. Good luck.